Hello everyone and welcome to Machine Learning and Large Language Model Tutorials. In this tutorial, we explain how to install and run a quantized version of DeepSeq version 3 on a local computer by using the LAMA CPP program. To be able to use the GPU resources, we will first explain how to build LAMA.CPP from source by using the CUDA and C++ compilers. For those of you who are not familiar with large language models and with Llama.cpp, Llama.cpp is a powerful and simple to use program for running large language models on local computers. You shouldn't confuse Llama.cpp with Llama 3 or Llama 3.1 or a similar large language model. Llama.cpp is a framework that is a program for running any type almost of large language models locally. On the other hand, DeepSeq V3 is a powerful mixture of experts or MOE language model. Over here, you can see some comparisons of DeepSeq with other popular large language models. So this blue hatched rectangle or these blue hatched rectangles represents the performance of DeepSeq V3 and the other rectangles are other popular large language models such as Quant 2.5, Llama 3.1, GPT and Cloud. And you can see that DeepSeq V3 apparently outperforms all these models. However, you should always take these results with a grain of salt and with a little bit of doubt since these results are published by DeepSeq V3 and every manufacturer or better to say every software company will always claim that their models are better than the others and that's the marketing approach. Now we will install and run a quantized version of DeepSeq V3 on a local computer. So here are the main prerequisites. First of all, you will need around 200 gigabytes of disk space for the smallest model and more than 400 gigabytes of disk space for the larger model. Then you will need a significant amount of RAM memory. In our case, we have 48 gigabytes of RAM memory and the model inference is relatively slow, still relatively slow, even taking into account that we are using GPU. So probably the inference speed can be improved by adding more RAM memory. In the future, I'm going to probably put 60 more gigabytes of RAM to have at least 100 gigabytes of RAM memory. Then you will need a decent GPU. We performed tests on NVIDIA 3090 GPU with 24 gigabyte VRAM. Better GPU will definitely increase the inference speed. Maybe you should get 4090 GPU if you have a lower budget or even try to buy a more expensive GPU. However, it still works on our NVIDIA 3090 GPU and probably there is space for improving the inference speed. However, the story for prerequisites does not end here. You will need additional prerequisites for building Llama.cpp from source. First of all, you need to install Microsoft Visual Studio C++ and Microsoft Visual Studio C++ compilers. Then you need to install CUDA toolkit in order to be able to compile Llama.cpp with CUDA support. Then you need to install Git such you can download the source files. And in addition, you need to install Git support for large scales files. Okay, so let's go over these prerequisites and let's explain how to install them. To install Microsoft Visual Studio C++ together with compilers, Google Microsoft Visual Studio C++, then hit this first link, then scroll down, then select Community Edition since the Community Edition is free. The download process will start after you click, then double click on the installation file and just go over the installation. It's pretty much straightforward. Make sure that you install C++ compilers. Okay, so that's the one thing. The second thing that you need to install is a CUDA toolkit. Search CUDA toolkit and then click on the first link over here. Then click on download now, select your operating system, select architecture, select the Windows version or a Linux version. If you have, I have Windows 11, select executable and just download and double click the, on the installation file and the installation process is pretty much smooth. 
Next, you need to install Git. And to install Git, simply Google Git to download Windows, click here on the first link, select Windows, download the file, double click on the file, and you will be able to install Git. However, you also need Git support for large files. To do that, search Git support for large files Windows, then click over here on this first link, then download, install, and then you will have Git on your system. The first step is to build llama.cpp from source. To do that, click on start and search for developer command prompt. It's very important that you start the developer command prompt and not the regular command prompt. Since in the developer command prompt, you will be able to access Microsoft Visual Studio C++ compiler. So click here and you will see over here that it's written Visual Studio 2022 developer command prompt. Okay, now you have to verify that all the compilers can be started. First of all, let's verify that we can start CUDA compilers. So type NVCC version and you should see this response. If you see this, this means great. You have installed CUDA toolkit successfully. Then let's verify several other things. Let's verify that Git exists. Good. If you see something like this, if not, you didn't install Git. So go back and install Git. Then let's now start with basic installation instructions. So let's go to C drive and let's create a folder, folder called test LCPP. Okay. So let's navigate to this folder. And this will be our base folder. Now, in this base folder, we need to clone the remote llama.cpp repository. Cloning is a fancy word for downloading remote files. So let's type this and make sure that this address is correct. And this will clone the remote repository of llama cpp. Okay, now we need to build everything. And to build everything, we need to execute several commands. First of all, make sure that the folder is downloaded. So let's navigate to this folder. And in this folder, let's run two commands. First of all, let's run this command. This command will actually build everything, right? Not build everything, it will set up several things. And let's see what's written over here. You see this last parameter. This last parameter means that you're activating CUDA compilation. So press enter. And over here, you need to be patient. Okay. Now, the next command, that is this command over here, is a pretty much tricky one. Why it's tricky? Well, it's tricky that... Uh, because after you execute this command, it might take even half an hour or maybe 20 to 30 minutes to compile everything. So prepare yourself, go for example, take a coffee or just take a break and run this command and wait. Now again, it's going to take a while, so be patient. After the source files are compiled, let's figure out where the executable. To find the executable, the best strategy is to go to the Windows Explorer, then go to the folder, go to the Llama CPP, and usually the ex executables are in build. So click on build, click on binaries, release, and over here you will find all the executables. For us, the main executable is Llama CLI file. So let's try to locate this file. Let's see where it is. Let's sort by name. And let's see, llama, 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 here it is. This is the main file. So let's now copy this path over here. Let's go to our developer command prompt and let's navigate to that folder. And let's try to run llama CLI and we should get some form of response. Here it is. If you get a similar response, this means that you have properly built everything. You can see that my GPU is being recognized and this is a very good sign since this means that we have successfully built the GPU version of Llama.cpp. 
good. The next step is actually to download the DeepSeq models and to run them. Okay, the download process might take a while since you need to download either 200 or 400 gigabytes. As mentioned previously, in this video tutorial, we will download and install a quantized version of DeepSeq. Okay, for that purpose, go to the Hugging Face repository. It is under Unslot DeepSeq V3 GGUF. GGUF is a file format that's used by Llama.cpp and over here you can see the models. Here you have several possibilities. You have a huge model which is around even 800 gigabytes or you have the smaller models. The difference mainly is how the model is being quantized. I'm going to use the smaller model However, even the smaller model is around 200 gigabytes. So click here, and then here you need to download these four files. The easiest approach to download these files is to simply click here and save the file in, for example, downloads folder, and the download process will start. You can see that it's going to take around 18, 19 minutes to download a single file. You can actually do this at the same time. You can even start the download of this one and do everything and start the download process. On my computer and taking into account that I have an internet connection which is not bad, I'm basically, it takes around maybe one hour to download these five files. Okay, so be patient, again take a break. After the files are downloaded, we need to copy them to the release folder. That is, we need to copy them to this folder in which are the binaries of Llama CPP. How to do that? Well, simply select the file, five files that are model files, then I'm going to simply cut them and then I'm going to paste them in this folder over here and here they are. Good. Now let's go back to our command prompt. Make sure that you're in this folder, that is in the release folder, bin release, which contains all the binaries, and the next step is to run the model. You can run the model by using this single line. You call llama CLI, then you specify the model name. And this will run llama.cpp and this model in the interactive mode where you will be able to ask questions. Now, here there are several things to keep in mind. First of all, make sure that this model name is correct. Namely, if you go back to this release and if you see the model names, this model name should match these files such that everything is okay. So this first file should be loaded and here it is. You have to make sure that the names are correct. So simply copy and paste the name of the first file. Again, let me show you how to do that. Simply copy the name of this file, go here and create this command. Then I'm going to copy this, go here, and I'm going to execute. Now, since I have a computer with relatively limited resources, it's going to take a while to load the model. And meanwhile, you will see that your computer might freeze for maybe five to 10 seconds. Don't panic, this is completely normal, especially if you have relatively low RAM such as I have. Okay, so let's run this and then I'm going to show you how to use the model. Then after the model is loaded, you should see this screen and you can ask the question, for example, how to solve a quadratic equation and then press enter and the inference will start and you should see the response. You now have to wait for a while for the model to start and to start generating the response. And over here you can see that the model is being generated. Okay, that's all for today and thanks for watching.